So combat and attributes. I'd say this would be the most popular and useful of my videos in this series, but that would require that I be popular. Before I begin, I have a bit of a naming maintenance to perform. My sample game finally got themselves an elf druid. As such, I get to add a name request from Project AI Christine, Vladimir von Seer of Large Deer. And it doesn't fit. Okay, how can I mix this up a lot while maintaining this spirit of the... I got it. Perfect. I'll start with the attribute list from the wiki, showing all attributes combat uses. This video, I'll be keeping my talk as to what skills are better than others to just the combat roles. You've already got multiple other videos of mine praising the medic skill. So, which of these skills are better? There's a couple places to look. The first is the three columns of Offense, Defense, and Shield Ally. Offense is how much damage you do, Defense is how many hit points you have, and Shield Ally is important because the attribute that controls Shield Ally Doubles is how much shielding you get in general, so it's extra hit points. Any attribute that has an entry in these columns gets an immediate notice, with special mention to health, will, intelligence, and speech having multiple entries. High levels of any of these skills will have big impacts on the challenges they are used in. The next place to check is any attribute that has an effect across multiple challenges. Health and Will show up again, as they are the HP skill for almost half of the challenges each. Perception is the first action skill for almost half of the challenges, and Tactics is the confusion ability for almost half of the challenges. I'll also give a notch to Intelligence, that is the counter tactic for three challenges. So having a high level of any of these skills will allow you to specialize in a specific area across a wide range of challenges. Third is to see what is involved in direct combat. Of the nine challenges, a direct fight is the most common and the most dangerous due to lost HP being carried over as wounds. So these entries get a plus for being involved in direct combat, as well as the abilities of strength, dexterity, and health, since those three attributes add their values directly into, respectively, damage, stealth, and armor. And lastly is just to look at which attributes are used a lot Period. Intelligence is used in eight different capacities, magic and perception in seven, and tactics and will get used in six. I'm going to give one final bonus point to magic, specifically because the Hex Challenge, where magic is the offensive stat, is one of the most, I'll say, incorrectly labeled when it comes to difficulty ratings. In most challenges, you want anyone who is doing damage to have at least an attack rating of 10 in the early game and going up as you progress. But even high-level Hex challenges can sometimes be won by a single guy with 5 magic skill, as long as he has a lot of meat shields to eat the damage. So a single point of magic will help in a Hex challenge far more than any other point in any other challenge. Also, I've intentionally left off all of the poison and leech skills from this list, as they would have caused it to double in size. Since both poison and leech effects add damage, you can consider all of them to have a rating of 1, with the two skills that are specifically named Poison and Leech having a rating of 2, since their damage applies to direct fights. And so, here you see my personal opinion ratings for the combat skills. Health, Intelligence, Perception, Tactics, and Will come out on top of the charts, with Magic close behind, and these skills being somewhat more marginal utility. Again, standard disclaimers, these are generalized lists. If you are doing a game where you direct fight everything you see, then that will change these ratings somewhat. Also, keep in mind that these are just combat ratings, things like Gathering and Medic have a lot of use outside of combat, and every party should have each of these skills on at least one guy, just to trigger different options when encounters happen. So, I'm going to break the video here. My attempts at getting good footage for combat tactical demonstrations is progressing slowly, and I don't want to leave you guys hanging for several weeks. Don't worry, I will get to it eventually, and until then, you all get the shortest video of the series to date. And given a lot of people keep telling me they prefer my videos as short as possible, I'll just run with it. <laughs> 